Hey guys, Crazy Snowboarder here, and today, what are we going to talk about? Of course, the Xbox One. Other people were calling it the 720 before today's keynote speech, but they came out and Microsoft's calling it the Xbox One. What they are going to do with this system is they are trying to make it the center of your entertainment system. <clears throat> They're trying to have you, whenever you turn your television on, want to listen to music, want to do whatever, they want you to turn on your Xbox, which is a great concept. Microsoft is in the business to make money. The more you turn on your Xbox, the more you're going to buy this app. The more you turn on your Xbox, the more you're going to buy this game. So when you turn on your Xbox and you're watching Hulu Plus or, you know, anything like that, the Amazon videos, whatnot, you turn on your Xbox. You turn on your Xbox, you're going to see a little commercial in the corner saying, look at this cool new thing. You know, that's the way they're going to make their money. They sell more games, they sell more apps, they make more money. It's a business model. Microsoft makes money. That's why they're a widely successful company. So that's what they do. They're going to give you the best bang for your buck. Now here's the... Call of Duty video that they put out with the keynote speech. This game looks crazy. But it looks crazy on the Xbox One. It's not going to look this good on the Xbox 360, but it'll look amazing on the Xbox One. I know personally I can't afford to get an Xbox One. I'm 32 years old. Yeah, 32. <laughs> Had to think for a second. And I have a family, I have a house, those come first before my gaming needs. If somebody out there wants to donate an Xbox One to me, I will definitely take it, but I will play the new Call of Duty Ghost game on my 360. It won't look as good, but I'll still be happy. I'll still be putting out videos that you guys like to see. But they talk about all these things like the Sub-D and the new slide system, I guess you call it. It's a reverse dolphin dive. And AI in the game. They mostly talk about the single player. Which, if you guys are anything like me, you haven't even played the single player on Black Ops 2. I don't even know what it's about. When I got the game at midnight, I played multiplayer. What Infinity War did a great job with this game, just looking at it. They talked a little bit about the multiplayer. And they talked about... You know, dynamic maps. You know, like, where the water comes on that one map on Black Ops 2 and wipes everybody out. So, Treyarch has been doing this for a couple maps, a couple games. Infinity Wars is just getting into it. It's cool. They're saying, if you run past something, you could actually trigger logs to fall or a landslide or something like that. They're also making characters customizable to you. Alright? So... You can make your character look like whatever you want. I know some of the women on Twitter that I follow were not happy about that because they were saying that, oh, how come you can only be a man? Why can't you be a woman? There, there's women in Gears of War. There's women in in Halo. Why can't we put a woman in, in Call of Duty? Which I think is just fine. I'm not going to be one of those guys like, no women play video games. Get back in the kitchen. Even though I joke with some of my friends that are female about that, and I tell them that, to make me a sandwich but I'm not serious but the game does look awesome and it looks awesome on the Xbox One it's not gonna look as great on the 360 don't forget that but it looks awesome on the Xbox One so I guess make up your own mind on what you want to do with this if you want to get the Xbox One if you if you have the means to get an Xbox One do it I don't think there's gonna be compatibility between playing live on the Xbox One and live on the 360 because they're going to be pretty much two different games. So if your friend has a 360 and you have an Xbox One, you guys aren't going to be able to play Call of Duty together. Let that factor into your decision. I know I don't like playing alone because usually you play with bad teammates and you lose a lot of matches and you end up going negative because you're trying to take objectives and nobody's helping you. So I'll, I know most of my friends are going to still keep the 360. We're older. We don't care. We'd like to have the newest and greatest, but we have other priorities. 
So, guys, that's about my time. Enjoy the rest of my match at Domination here. I think I ended up going, like, 52 or 53 and 26. I don't know. I, for some reason on Nuketown, I'm very campy with this target finder, which is bad. Very bad. But it is what it is. So, guys, have a good day. Don't, make, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Bye.